Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. Hey, and welcome to this video. In this one, we are going to take a look at something to do with the Memoji laptop challenge that kind of really kicked off a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's got me thinking really about its actual application in education as, uh, you know, a get to know people virtually kind of idea. You know, we don't know what um, the future is going to hold in terms of new school years, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and we know that, uh, you know, sharing, you know, those little sort of tidbits about who you are and, and what you're into is a really, really useful way to get to know people and, and find things in common with people. And having stickers on laptops has always been that kind of, oh, you're into X, Y, or Z, so am I. And, and it starts that conversation. So that I think that's probably why the, the Memoji laptop uh, sticker kind of idea really took off because people would start to share those on the internet, etc. So got me thinking, how does that look as an actual classroom activity? So I'm going to go through a couple of the steps that I've thought about as an actual teaching activity. Um, and I've actually called this um, All About Me Moji. So if you've done any of the Apple Teacher stuff um, and seen some of the activities in there, there's a really, really cool All About Me activity where you uh, have a silhouette of your head and you add in shapes that represent who you are. And I thought, OK, let's kind of take that idea and marry that up with the Memoji laptop idea and how could you sort of develop that. It might be that it's more applicable to older learners. They might be more uh, you know, akin to do this because it's, it's the Memoji as opposed to just being a silhouette of their head or whatever. Anyway. So what I've done here is I've just kind of searched around and found some some stickers, some some app icons, uh, you know, some some just different things of things that I'm into. And this is kind of the first part. Um, it's that activity where the students think, what do I like? What am I into? And how can I visually represent that? So is it travel? Is it certain sports teams? Is it certain individuals? Is it certain apps? Is it certain, you know, companies? Whatever it might be. What is it that I think represents me? And all I've done is just collected some images. None of them are necessarily ready at this point to be stickers because I wanted to go through the how we can stylize these to turn them into stickers. Um, but they're just an arrangement of things that I think, yeah, I'd probably put those onto my onto my laptop. So the next thing we need to do is go and get our Memoji. Now, in previous videos, you would have seen this process. I'm doing this on my iPad Pro. Uh, the process is pretty similar regardless of which iPad you're on. Uh, we go into our messages. Um, we tap on the heads section here, which gives us uh, access to our emojis. If you need to create a emoji, three dots on the side, that will give you an option to create a new emoji. I don't need to. I'm going to use the one I've already got. And I'm just going to tap here on my laptop emoji, and I'm sending this to myself. Okay, so you can see on the right hand side, this is me. So I'm just sending it to myself, and I'm going to tap send on here. You see that that has now been delivered to me. And now at this point, I'm going to tap onto that image. And you'll see that I've broken it away. I've still got hold of it. I'm going to open Keynote and I'm going to drop it. Now, the whole time I was holding it, you noticed it had a black background. Well, that's just it's just in place. It's actually, uh, uh, there's no fill on the background. So we have it on this page with a no fill. I've seen people... Um, adding in different backgrounds to this as well. I think that's a really, really nice touch. This could be you in your classroom. It could be you in your favorite location. It's just a layer behind that image um, instead of it being white. Okay, so we've got our Memoji. We've got our laptop in place. Now we can start thinking about how we build in those stickers. So this one's uh, an easy one to start with. Um, it's already got no background. I do, however, just need to move my Memoji to the back so that everything sits on the front. And I can start to layer that on the screen, pinch to zoom. It does, however, look like it, it's it's not necessarily uh, related to the laptop. I mean, it, it's fine, but a couple of things that we can do to stylize this. So I'm just gonna zoom in on this just so you can see a little bit more detail. I'm gonna select um, my icon. I'm gonna tap on the paintbrush and go to style. And you'll see that I've got shadow selected on my screen and I've just got that that this drop shadow here. I just think it, it just sort of makes it stand out a little bit from the from the laptop. I'm just gonna then resize that and you know, place that onto my screen. 
So there's sticker number one. Okay, let's take uh, another stick here. Let's take Mario, for example. So I'm going to drop Mario down here. Now I could just leave Mario um, as he is on the white background. Um, but actually, I think it's going to look better. And, and in real life, it probably wouldn't have that whole white background. So I'm going to instant alpha. And now we've got that really, really nice sticker. And that white background actually is in keeping with lots of stickers. And that's actually a really, really nice kind of style idea for some of your other stickers. So the process for doing that is actually quite simple. Let's find uh, a nice, you know, let's maybe go with the Lego. So if I drop this in, there's nothing wrong with that as a sticker that could go on exactly as it is. But actually what I'm gonna do is go to style and I'm gonna choose this kind of white border. Um, you see straight away it kind of matches that Mario style. Um, I can make that white border a little bit thicker if I want to. And again, make sure I've got that shadow on and now all of a sudden it just kind of changes the kind of impact of that sticker. Now, I've seen so many different styles of this, the Memoji laptop sticker challenge where people have been very organized, people have got them in lines, people have left lots of space. I'm a little bit more chaotic with mine, um, but, but again, this kind of shows that personal choice in how people want to, to create things. This one here, um, this is just an image that I found. Again, I could stick it on there with a white background. It looks a bit odd. So I'm just gonna actually take out the background and I'm gonna make it look a little bit more like a sticker. So again, I'm gonna put that white background on it. There we go. So rather than it just being like a photo that I've taken uh, from the internet, I've actually given it that, you know, kind of sticker style, nice and easy. And again, I'm just gonna layer that over here and just start to build up. Um, all of those things. Now you just continue to build. Um, I've got so many different stickers in here. I thought the the idea of having places that I've been might be quite nice. Again, if I just instant alpha out some of the background. There we go. So we've got some stickers that we can add in of places. And again, this is the whole idea is that we're just looking at how can I represent, you know, me on a laptop. Uh, it doesn't just have to be technology stuff, absolutely anything that you're into. Um, and one thing that I found when I was doing the All About Me challenge, the original challenge that was was in Apple Teacher, um, was that you can actually start to think about the size of the things. You know, if I put that really big, it's obvious on my screen. Does that mean it's something I like more than other things? So, you know, you can represent yourself in lots and lots of different ways when you're creating these. Let's just also take a look at that background element then. So I've created my Memoji. Let's say I've got those stickers all in place. Um, you know, I've got lots of other ones in here that I probably need to add in. But let's take a look at the backdrop. Lots of different ways that you can do this. You could get creative. You could use shapes and design your whole classroom background. I've seen some really, really fun kind of virtual classrooms that people have created. If I just want to put myself in a different location, if I just tap on plus, um, I might find a picture here. Oops, that's not. Let's put myself on a nice beach. Or nearly on a nice beach. And then again, we're just going to arrange that, drop that behind. And then when I play that, here we go. There's a nice backdrop. But again, you can be as creative, you can design anything you like, lots and lots of things. But that's it. It's the All About Me Moji. And it's a great way for students to start to share their personal you know, interests, their likes, um, so that they can start those conversations with um, their colleagues, friends, peers, etc. in the classroom. So have a go. We'd love to see what people create. And that's it. Till next time.